five minute uh, it's okay. warning, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. <coughs> Uh, <clears throat> good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks uh, a lot, uh, first, for the organizer and also your university to invite me to here to share my uh, personal research, uh, uh, which I have done, uh, uh, which I have done uh, uh, years before. So the, the topic I want to share is a discourse of the social uh, justice in a working class neighborhood. So it's a totally case study. Uh, I chose a case, case uh, Tao Yang in Shanghai. <coughs> so uh, in my presentation, I want to uh, talk about thank, uh, five uh, aspects. Uh, first is uh, a brief uh, introduction. And uh, second, how the, uh, the uh, inhabitant to have the right to a city, and second, how they, uh, how, uh, they lose, uh, lost the right to the, uh, redevelopment. The last is uh, uh, construct how the sense, the, the feeling of uh, social injustice was con constructed by the uh, local people themselves. And uh, the last one is a conclusion. So uh, why we choose Taoyang as a case study? Uh, in this uh, part, I want to answer the two questions. Why we choose Taoyang as case study? And what target we want to achieve? Uh, let's, let's look at first uh, the situation of the Taoyang village. Taoyang new village is located uh, in the center of Putu district, Shanghai, covering uh, 100 80 hectare. Uh, this area was one of the largest, largest industrial districts in Shanghai suburb before the years 1949. Those first inhabitants count only 1,000 households in uh, uh, <coughs> uh, 1952. However, today it's become a large scale residential district in downtown which over uh, 20,000 households and nearly 100,000 inhabitants in the years 2010. So in this map, we, show, uh, we can see. So here, if you know uh, some uh, about uh, Shanghai, this area on, uh, in uh, Rhone, in yellow, it's uh, uh, concessions, foreign concessions in Shanghai. It's a French concession, international concession, and Japanese concession. Uh, we can see this ca part can be, uh, we say, the downtown, we have, uh, really a uh, city centers before the uh, 1949. And this is a district of Putuo, and our seat, the Taoyang village, is here. So it's uh, quite uh, far from the city center in the uh, 49, um, <coughs> in the years uh, 1949. So uh, my research is focused on the Taoyang uh, number one village, uh, which is located in the center of this area and covering uh, 10 hectares, uh, which um, around 2,000 household and uh, 5,600 uh, 5, inhabitants. So this is uh, the whole area is a uh, Taoyang village, but it's composed by the North Small Village. We can see the one, two, three, four, uh, and nine. Uh, from the, this part, it's uh, in the center, it's uh, number one village. It's almost uh, uh, 1,000 householder. So it's uh, grown very happily from the two, uh, uh, um, uh, from the, uh, from the, uh, this nerve sense, uh, Sorry for my uh, French accent. I, I, I sometimes I confuse the French and the English. Uh, no, so from Yang Chen to study in Paris. Ah. So uh, she, he speaks it French. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm sorry. So from uh, uh, from years, uh, um, this enough, um, 
uh, how to say, uh, from years uh, um, uh, 1952 uh, 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 to uh, two, 2010. So uh, we can see the first uh, the Chaoyang village uh, number one. It's uh, the first working class village uh, constructed by the Chinese Communist government in this uh, uh, in the uh, uh, in the 1950s. Uh, <laughs> sorry, 1950s. In this demonstration, <laughs> uh, in this demonstration project, the government wanted to uh, uh, show that the Chinese Communist Party concerned a lot about the class uh, living conditions of the working class. And in this new China, so we, we taught new China after the uh, 49, um, the working class could be considered as a master of the society. Uh, uh, society. Cao Yang used to receive. Cao Yang used to be received a large number of the foreign visitors every year since its complete completion, which has a great honor for the first generation uh, inhabitant. So we see this uh, image. Uh, there's a lot of uh, foreign uh, friend. I think it's from uh, India and uh, the South American. So it's a picture is taken in the uh, 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 60s. I think it's the text in 60s, the year 60s. Uh, so uh, let's talk about the housing typology and the inhabitant. Uh, subject to the economy conditions in early days of the new China, Cao Yang adopted a low standard common system, which were the three uh, households share one kitchen room. So we can see the three, uh, three family, and they share one kitchen room here. So this is a picture I take uh, two years before, and this is a bedroom. Mm. <clears throat> House, uh, in this system, uh, house property right was owned by the state. House was uh, allo allocated, allo allocated by the work unit. Work unit in China, which uh, the, like uh, uh, the, the state owner uh, enterprise, and the inhabitant pay a low monthly rent, and the house management office, Fang Guan Suo, uh, was in the charge of housing maintenance. Uh, most habitants was uh, model uh, workers. Uh, in Chinese, we say "mo uh, fan," "lao dong mo fan," model uh, workers, and coming from the state-owned enterprise, they have the high uh, homogeneity in family background, occupation, and incomes. So this is picture I take from the newspaper. Uh, let, uh, we, we can see how happy they are uh, when they first, uh, in the first day they, they moved to the new village. So this is all the, the workers, but the model workers in the uh, state owner uh, enterprise. So this is a new uh, newspaper uh, published in uh, uh, two years before. It's uh, anniversary. Uh, 60 years of this new village. <clears throat> so, uh, from this brief in introduction, I want to ask the question is uh, facing the decline of the physical environment and the uh, uh, properization of the population. How could Cao Yang avoid being demolished in the urban renovation since later? Uh, uh, min, um, since later years, uh, uh, 90s. And uh, why did the inhabitant uh, succeed in gain the right to the city, but, but lost the right to the redevelopment? 
The second, uh, the third is how was the social injustice concept being constructed by the inhabitant in context of the social transformation since the late nineties, uh, late nineteen nineties. So. Uh, since the, uh, the late uh, 1990s, many developers are interested in the urban uh, renovation project in Chaoyang district due to its good location, especially to the metro planning nearby. I have to mention here, in Chinese urban renovation, uh, when, we talk, when we say renovation, it's almost saying it's a, it means demolished, demolished. So this outcome was that many communities was demolished and original habitant have to uh, moved out to the suburb. Uh, they uh, then a much high rise a real estate rose up and coming a lot of uh, uh, middle class It's kind of uh, the uh, uh, general uh, gentrification. So this picture showed uh, the yellow uh, the colors yellow is uh, the first uh, uh, number one village. So it's, uh, it's uh, a traditional village uh, exists uh, uh, today. And this is a new project renovation. So it's a demolished, they demolished all this uh, old building and uh, constructed a, the big high rise. And this is uh, it's like a ordinary uh, building, uh, five or six floor. <coughs> So, uh, the first construction, uh, Chaoyang village, uh, number one village, was almost repeatedly involved in this discussion of renovation. But there's uh, three reasons that that's not removed so far. Uh, firstly, according to the investigation, uh, um, Almost, uh, almost, uh, almost. Uh, how to say this? Shift eighty five. Uh, sorry, eighty five percent. Eighty five percent of or, uh, original inhabitant was not uh, willing to leave, and uh, uh, <clears throat> secondly, population density was quite far quite ex extremely high compared to the other district. Average family, family members per uh, household is uh, six in uh, Chaoyang. Uh, and the number of the city average is uh, only uh, 2.8. Uh, uh, so three generations living together in this uh, village was, uh, was fairly common here, considering the high uh, Relocation compensation. Uh, many developers shrank back from the project. I don't want to be uh, do, do this project because uh, there's uh, so many uh, uh, inhabitants to uh, have the registrations in one family. In one family. So, according to the uh, regulation, local regulation, uh, the compensation is uh, according to the numbers of the fam family. So that's why uh, the developers don't want to be the, to do this project. Uh, thirdly, after a year uh, of 2000, Shanghai municipality uh, started to underline uh, urban culture policy. That means uh, some scholarship, uh, some scholars uh, proposed that working class village is another native culture, urban culture. We call the red culture, the culture of the communist. Uh, in Shanghai, besides the colony culture, and it is a, a valuable uh, heritage. So in the year 2004, a Chaoyang village, uh, number one village, was uh, listed as a historical preservation by Shanghai municipality. So this village was completely uh, preserved. So as a summary, I, I mentioned uh, in this part, inhabitant gained the right to continue living in this village. Uh, however, the story it was far from our supposed uh, citizen movement. It was affected 
by many objective factors, that, such as uh, householder population, and by marketing factors, such as the uh, increase of the relocation compensation, and also by the government wish, uh, such as the red culture promotion. Mm. In the second part, I want to uh, to to, to uh, mention that uh, the habitant have the right to the city, but uh, they are not happy. Uh, again, the right to the city didn't uh, in the Taoyang didn't make the local people happy. In the interview, uh, the um, Inhabitants saw themselves as uh, the bottom of society. How come this kind of feeling, uh, they have this kind of opinion? During the two years field work, I, uh, we found the inhabitant earned the right to the city while lost the rights to the redevelopment in a context, the social transformation. Uh, first, uh, for me, they, they, they lost the right to the job. In the middle of um, uh, the years, the 90s, the reform of the state owner enterprise uh, led to a mass factories closure and brought a huge amount of the lay laid off workers in Shanghai. The, the workers from the labor intensive uh, in industry, such as the textile and the hardware, like Cao Yang, was uh, strongly affected. According to the statistic from the inhabitant committee in years 2010, employment uh, 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 ratio in Taoyang existed uh, 8%. Factories in uh, closures and work units, this and decretion, not only reduced the workers' uh, income, but more important also stop the social uh, welfare which was inherited from the socialist uh, period. Many workers above uh, 50 years old lacked the scale, professional scale, to find a new job. And the second, uh, I, 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 I think they lost their right to the spatial management. That means uh, sp spatial management. That mean, uh, since the late uh, 1990s, Mass rural uh, migrant shift from the uh, shift to shift from the, the hometown to the coast uh, east coast cities, including Shanghai. Old the uh, district uh, decreed in the downtown attract a lot of uh, uh, a, a large number of these peoples due to the poor uh, housing qualities and the low rent. According to our uh, in, uh, investigation, uh, Taoyang experienced uh, an increase of the macron uh, from less than 1% in the year uh, uh, 96. That means uh, uh, 50. Persons, 50 persons, uh, migrant, uh, rural migrant in this village, to uh, 40 percent. That means uh, uh, 1,000, uh, uh, 1,800 persons in the years to mean uh, 2010. Especially after years 2000, the average, the average accelerations reached uh, uh, 27 percent one year. This me uh, migrant come mainly from the less developed area, such as uh, now uh, Jiangsu, uh, Anhui, and uh, Henan province. Retain like, their lifestyle. They raised many conflicts with uh, uh, the local people in, aspect, in aspects of uh, uh, public sanitation and the neighborhood relationship. So uh, the slide is a little bit uh, Late. <laughs> uh, so, regarding to the community integration, uh, 
integration. On one hand, the local uh, local people they don't like a migrant, uh, as migrant was uh, uh, careless about public uh, sanitation and the broader security problem as well. Mm. But on the other hand, the local habitant uh, was dependent on this migrant because, firstly, uh, migrant generated a lot of housing rent demand. Renting, uh, rent has uh, become an important income uh, source, especially for let off workers' family. <coughs> rent counts up to twice that uh, working income. Some inhabitants uh, rent out the, the old house, just uh, rent a house to the migrant, while uh, rent for themselves a cheaper room nearby, just for earning the price the difference. Secondly, uh, many migrants living in a, on a small uh, business near the community, which provide the local uh, inhabitant with a cheaper commercial service. This definitely reduces the local uh, inhabitant living burden. Still, local uh, inhabitants saw the micro migrant increase as the main reason for worse uh, community environment. But that could hardly help. Original inhabitant has to share their community with them. They lost gradually the right to manage uh, their own community space. The last one, I think, is they, lost, uh, they lose the, the right to the residential mobility. Facing with a worse and worse community environment, a local inhabitant could not, uh, however, move out. This is because, firstly, old public housing construction in the, uh, the years uh, 50s has shared a kitchen room. And according to the local uh, regulation, this kind of housing had no completely property right. So this kind of uh, housing cannot be uh, so it's blocked in the market uh, estate, uh, in a market estate, and they cannot uh, uh, do the transaction. Secondly, since the years 2000, housing price was uh, booped uh, up in Shanghai. Nearly, newly uh, built housing nearby, and to the middle class, it might cost more than two million RMB for a small apartment. For example, uh, 50 uh, square meters. In contrast, housing around uh, 15 square meters in the epitent, reaching a new prop uh, housing nearby. As a re result, the local people can uh, are le uh, left behind in the uh, Caoyang village. It shows the local people, the epitent, have the much limited they can uh, have limited in their residential mobility. Even they, they, they sold their old house, but they cannot buy a new house uh, nearby. So they have a, uh, a great uh, limitations in the mobility, residential mobilities. In the third part, I want to uh, talk about uh, the construction of social injustice. Many inhabitants mentioned that about uh, injustice in this interview, in our interview. Of course, social justice uh, is a general conception. But our target is to understand how this viewpoint of social injustice was constructed by the local in inhabitant. First, let's talk about uh, inequalities in salary and uh, social welfare. Uh, I just uh, 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 use two uh, extra um, extract of the interview. Compare with the, uh, the officials, teachers, and white collar employee, the working class uh, has an extremely low uh, income. So you can read these two, uh, two texts. Uh, I think the two texts is interesting. Uh, just so the ambiance, the, 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 how the, the, the local people are uh, thinking uh, in this new uh, periods of tra social transition. 
Second, we, we, I want to talk about the, the inequality of the spatial occupy occupying. Chaoyang was a working class neighborhood. Uh, we are living many uh, model uh, workers and uh, company leader. This village has a very good fame. Later on, people keep on moving on the move out for the better house, and the local people uh, without money they have to uh, stay here. And uh, you cannot find, you can see that a lot of more and more uh, migrants in this village, and the uh, uh, environment become worse. So you cannot find the, another similar case in Shanghai. Householder with a bad, uh, bad economic conditions move out. Young people also, uh, they, they, want, they also move out as a housing. Uh, they, they don't want uh, living here because it's, uh, housing here is too small to get married. Uh, uh, one uh, inhabitant told me, I, I will absolutely move out as soon as I have money. But I, I, I am still here because I'm a boss of the society. So it's a sentence that they told me. <clears throat> Original inhabitants thought the fact that the space was uh, gradually invaded and occupied by the migrant. However, they did not have the capacity capability to move out and occupy the other uh, urban space. Although they stayed in the same urban area, the mobility and uh, spatial occupation are shrinking. It was uh, such uh, obviously in inequalities, comparing themselves with the other high income people, income group, who own uh, more estate or with the middle class who has a better mobility to find a new house. So last, uh, last uh, shows I want to share, it's uh, the inequalities between the intergeneration. That point is, uh, I think, is uh, it's interesting. It, uh, we have to go back to uh, the history of this, uh, this village and history of uh, working class, uh, Chinese working class after the uh, uh, this, um, after the uh, uh, 14, uh, the year 14 Earth. Another special uh, injustice issues come from the challenger ideology. Inhabitants could not understand so far why uh, that the uh, father generation was respected by the whole society as a working class and as a master of the uh, state. Period, uh, as a master of state in the socialist period. However, today they become a laid off workers, and, and even the public media try to uh, avoid concern on them. They were fo forced to shell one community with a migrant imprint uh, as a new urban poor class. Moreover, Due to the property and being not able to buy a new house, the children, the third generation inhabitant in Chaoyang, was not able to marry. So for the Chinese people, it's a big problem. So in China, normally, uh, the, the, the young couple have to uh, buy a new house before getting married. But housing is uh, extremely expensive now, and uh, uh, especially in a big city like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou. The young couples usually get fi financial support from the both family, uh, from them and from the family of their wife. Uh, if the fam fam uh, family are not rich enough to get a, the house, the young people usually will, be, uh, will, will have to delay the marriage. So I will, will reach the uh, arrival of the conclusion. I will give some. Uh, summary very happy. Uh, although uh, the inhabitants gain the right to stay in the same urban area and the communities remain uh, neither demolished or rebuilt, Chaoyang changed uh, gradually. It is not only the village uh, for the model workers, but in the low-income communities occupied by the laid-off workers and the rural migrants, there are many uh, social conflicts between the two groups. 
we call the sensitive community. Therefore, we can tell right to city. It's not only the right to stay in the uh, urban space, but more important, right to obtain the job, right to access uh, urban public service and uh, welfare. The inhabitant understanding uh, of the social justice jump for me, jump from the inequality to the injustice. For me, the formal, uh, the formal focus more on the compar uh, comparisons between the other groups. And meanwhile, the later challenges the social system and the ideology. That's me why the, 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 the working class uh, decline or, uh, today. They don't understand. They don't, they don't accept it. Uh, thirdly, in the procedures of the inner, uh, inner inequalities generation, what roles does the space play? For me, uh, there's three uh, point element. First, the, the space uh, amplify the social inequality. Taoyang become the um, a village or the habitations for the low income class. Inhabitants are more and more isolated with the less and less mobility. Uh, the second, I think the, the, this uh, space also can uh, generate the local life. That means uh, to local inhabitants, the communities provide a cheaper com um, comex and the public service. To the migrant, it provides uh, the convenient transportation, uh, job opportunities, and the low rent housing. A space raised uh, also the social movement. Is that the, so, uh, the space raised a social movement? It's a question I want to ask. And after the investigation, I think there's n neither a favor favorable relationship or trust, trust between the local people and the migrant. Local rely heavily on the government relief waiting for the government interventions on the employ employment, incomes, and housing renovations. There are many uh, in individual uh, petitions, case, but not, uh, uh, I have never seen the, the collective actions in this village. Here, the inhabitants committed works as well, uh, adjustment and uh, balance. Migrants can hardly build up their own social network because they do not have the step work, step job opportunities, and often relocated, uh, quite often, uh, when a billionaire uh, goes, goes bad. Besides that, they have no right to buy a house, housing, because uh, according to, also according to uh, this regulation, local regulation, this kind of housing without the complete property can only sold for the uh, uh, Shanghai people, for the people who have the, uh, the, the hook, local uh, registration uh, hukou. So for this uh, migrant, they have no chance to, to exit to the, to the property of housing. So they relocated. Uh, it's often because the short rent contracted. There's a, a, a in China now, there's no uh, law protecting the renters' benefit at the moment. Uh, so that housing rent a contract yearly lasts for uh, one or two, uh, one year. Only one year. So last one, I want to, uh, why we, uh, so what, what, what's the, the value? What, why we do the, why I do the, the case of uh, study, uh, case study of uh, Cao Yang? Because Cao Yang is an <coughs> individual case but has a uh, certain uh, represent, representation, a representativeness. Walker Village was the most common public house former after years uh, 49. Uh, in Shanghai and another Chinese industrial city, like uh, 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 Shenyang, Wu Dalian, and uh, a lot of cities in, uh, in the North China, uh, we have a lot of kind of this, uh, this, this housing. All this village was confronted confront with the community decline since the state owner enterprise reform in later 90s, in the years 90s. 
So I, I, I leave the, the time for the open, open discussion. Thank you. words about uh, this research because I uh, used to uh, have a close friend who did uh, research also on this type of community. And uh, it's interesting if you think about this uh, uh, current uh, inhabitants of this village, uh, am I right that, the, uh, that this current uh, re local inhabitants is already the third or perhaps the fourth generation of people mm -hmm. living there? Yeah, that's uh, almost uh, it's, uh, at least a three generation. Yeah, 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 at least. Yeah, at the very beginning when this uh, project was um, developed by the government, they, it was aimed at to uh, to kind of slum uh, slum cleansing. Mm. So most of the the people, the first generation of the inhabitants of this village was themselves migrants, and uh, mo the majority of them were living in shacks uh, along the Sutro Creek. And it was the municipal government who wants to relocate them to the Kind of institutionalize their their house housing, and uh, so it's 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 just interesting to to see uh, after a few decades how things uh, change. Uh, they they got stuck there. Um, yeah, it's a, it's an interesting case. And the second point is that I um, I have uh, some friends who have done our research about the socialist uh, residential transformations, uh, especially in Eastern Europe. Um, one of them did a very uh, a brilliant job uh, about Bucharest. So we find this uh, EX, uh, the former socialist uh, residential blocks, some, some of them high rising, uh, high rising uh, blocks has been uh, transformed. So um, I think in your case, because this village was preserved, and um, I, I think there's certainly a sense of just, uh, justice and injustice here because the pe those people, local people, do not have the right to opt if they want to quit, yeah. because the house is there, and it should be reserved. Uh, but in, let's say, in some other Eastern Europe, uh, European countries, the, those people just fled. It's uh, the, the block that was left to the private developers. Um, well, I cannot compare it in simple words uh, with whether it's uh, good or bad, but uh, it could be interesting. Yeah. Thank you. From the Shenzhen case, there are lots of the new village housing. They built the high rise, which have a lot of support from by the Shenzhen munis municipal government. But how about the attitude of the government um, in Shanghai um, nowadays? Would would they do something in order to to move um, to redistribute the land in the city, or for example in Shenzhen they they will free the land? And then in order to pull every, everyone to the high rise in 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 Shanghai, I, I guess the land is really really um, in a high demand. Mm. Uh, actually, I use the word village, uh, Chaoyang village, but actually in Shanghai, this uh, this uh, kind of community, it's not uh, exactly the village, because the construct uh, this village uh, this community is constructed by. The, uh, the government, and they distributed by the work unit, and the uh, management by the uh, the, the office uh, means the housing management office. So the whole also the land is all, always owned by the state. So it's it's totally different with the the, the village uh, rural village and the village in the city. So it's it should be the two uh, two system I think. So I talk about more uh, the uh, village in Shanghai. It's a kind of uh, urban community. So uh, uh, for me, the government uh, can be. Uh, it's more easy for government to to renovation to to do some project renovation project and to even to demolish this uh, community because the land is owned by the uh, government. 
it's, 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 I think for the, uh, like in the case in the, uh, Guangdong or Shenzhen, there's a lot of village owned by the co collectivity, uh, rural collectivity. It's more complicated. Well, thank you very much.